Hi guys, Joseph here today. We're doing another Joseph car video, and today we're doing another Joseph car video, and today we're doing another video, and this time we're going to be working on a Mercedes C Class C180 compressor. And what the, and this C180 compressor is supercharged from factory. That's what compressor stands for. If you wonder what compressor means on a Mercedes, it means supercharged. That's what it means. If you see a Mercedes on the road that says compressor on the back, it means it's supercharged, guys. So this C180 compressor we're working on is my granddad's friend's car and he's got a problem with the mass airflow sensor he's got an engine management light yeah yeah it doesn't run too bad but he's had it scanned at a garage and it's a mass airflow sensor so today guys we're going to be replacing the mass airflow sensor. and then that's pretty much it after replacing the mass airflow and if, and if any of you guys wondering what's happened to my 2002 V70, it's in the drive. It's got some electrical problems of it. I've put, I replaced the throttle body, but it's still not running good. It's surging at idle. Yeah, I've changed the data cables to the central electronic module. I've done that. So what we're going to do, guys today is we're going to be replacing the mass airflow sensor on the c180 compressor so let's get down to the car right now right guys here we are this c180 compressor this looks to be an 1800 and as you, and if any of you guys want this is a south north as you can tell the gearbox is just at the rear this yeah, the south north so this is a rear wheel drive and guys, this is the mass airflow sensor. And we'll see how that one comes off. Oh, here we go. Here we go. That's that unplugged. Obviously, it's always good to compare your new parts to your old. The whole unit all in with the new seal so it looks like to do this we've got to take the intake off this car so we've got to get to the intake air filter which is under here so i want to go and get some tools and we'll start work so right guys we've got to undo these c6 t25 screws that one isn't in properly which is helpful So make sure you don't lose your screws because remember we'll be reusing these afterwards but don't lose your screws there's not really anywhere to put anything i know don't put them there so what we do is i can undo them all i found somewhere to mount you up Alright guys, here we are. Now guys, we've got to lift out the air filter and we'll put that aside. Right, put that in a safe. There I do. Now we're readily at the mass airflow. The best thing to do to see how the old parts come out is actually look at your new part, guys. That's your best way of seeing how they come out. A look at your new part 
So right guys, it pulls inwards as I see. Mass airflow is in its housing. Right guys, there's some there's some screw there's a screw back here, so look I just found. So what we're gonna do is remove that. That's gonna be a fight. So we're gonna have to pause it. Right guys, I've undone that screw and that screw. Now the thing slides and uh, moves. So now guys, I'm gonna get that screw out and try not to lose it. I've got a bit of work on my hand, I'll get this out so I can find it. So I'm gonna have to pause here. Right guys, I've got the screws out. Now this should just slide straight out. There you go, that's that. That. That was hard. Oh god, this is a bad design. Look, look at this. Right guys, I've put the new mass airflow in, I'm sorry I didn't feel putting it in, but to get this one out, I got pulling it quite hard, I get quite a... Right guys, sorry about the abrupt ending there, my camera failed, so guys, to get the mass airflow sensor out, what I did, that, that long hose you saw, that me trying to put the screwdriver in between, you actually lift that up, and it helps you get the mass airflow out, and then what I did, I was, as I grabbed the mass air flows, I give it a bit of a pull up, and it, it pulled through. I didn't end, I ended up not having to take the air box out in the end. So, and I forgot to film putting it back in, but it's self-explanatory. Installation is the opposite to removal. You just do everything in reverse. So, I hope you found this video helpful. Now we're going to end off this video. So, and also, go check out my website, it's josephcast.co.uk, it's a UK only website, so it won't work if you're in another country, it only works in the UK, so if you're in the UK, go check out my website. Right guys, we're going to end off this video, but before we end off this video, I want you to guys to subscribe to my website, so... Go on my website, it's josephcast.co.uk And once you're over to my site, you should see my website in the corner of your screen At the top corner So, on this screen, you click on the little blue message logo at the bottom And you put your name in Your name, not my name, you put your own name So, that's what I'm doing right now my name and email will be blurred out as this is my personal email address I'm using here. If you just want to write questions, you can do that. So then how can we help this is an example? So I put I have a, a break servo hissing. I have a hissing brake servo on my Volvo V70. How can I fix this? That's what I'm writing here. That's just an example. But if you have a problem on your Volvo V70 that you might want help with, you can write it in and I'll do my best to answer you. Yes, yeah, so that's what I'm doing right now.
Now you sign up, or you, say, you click on tick the box to sign up to receive updates about car events. So these car events that you see that I announced to you will be ones that I'm attending. So if you see me at these car shows, I'll be pretty easy to spot out. So if you see me at these car shows, just say hello if you see me there. Yeah. Like the shows I do go to every year is the Brighton Breeze shows. Like the last one I went to was Brighton Breeze 2019. Brighton Breeze 2020 was postponed because of COVID-19. That one was postponed. But the ones that you, I will announce you through my website will be ones I'm attending. So yeah, if you want to say hello to me, you can. Yeah. When this lifts a bit, we might be getting back to these car shows. Yeah. So, after you've sent this... So, where it says, I will reply back to you. Check your emails, take care. I will reply back to you. If you have a question guys yeah and we've sent you a confirmation email please click the link to verify your address so you go on your phone as I'm just about to show you so you, you'll get an email from Joseph Carr's Volvo specialist you click on that email click confirmation Click to confirm your subscription. Click the link to confirm your subscription. And, you, and it says, Joseph Carr's Volvo Specialist, thank you for confirming. After that, you're, you've uh, now a subscriber. So all subscribers will get notifications about car shows that I'm attending. You, I will be sending you all emails for ones I'm going to. All you subscribers to my website. So, we're going to now end off this video. So please subscribe to this channel as well. And please give this video a like. And if you found this helpful, please share this with your friends. And have a nice day.